Hello everyone and welcome to Midnight's with Milo, the show where I make poor decisions before I go to bed. Also, yes, my pajamas is a 2014 One Direction shirt. I have decided that I want to stand a new group. Anyway, so I feel like I basically stand half the K-pop industry. That's why another group won't hurt, right? Are you not ashamed of yourself? And the group I want to dive into is now, my history with Treasure is pretty short. Basically, the day that Jig Jin came out, YouTube was like, Flashback. You should see this. And I was like, I will, thank you. End of flashback. I love Jig Jin. I raved about it to all my friends. Then I listened to the mini album. I think it came out with a mini album. But if I'm being honest, I do not remember any song from there except for Da Da Di. But even that, I listened to the album and I forgot about it immediately. I don't know why. And then I think a few weeks later, Da Da Di was trending on TikTok and I was like, oh, <laughs> yes, I forgot about this. Anyway, Da Da Di is now my number one song on Spotify. Spotify is like, bestie, are you okay? Why are you listening to this song every goddamn day? And no, I am not. <laughs> so then they came out with Da Da Di Remix. I loved it so fucking much. I cannot express how much I love that remix. And the weird thing is I still love the original too. So I think Da Da Di is just a great song and you can remix anyway and I would love it. So it's like, it's time. I need to get into Treasure. Now, the things I know about Treasure. They're from YG. They debuted not long ago. Nice. And members I know. Yetam. Yoshi. <laughs> Junkyu. Doyoung. I think that's it. So I look it up and it turns out that they only have other four title tracks, which is amazing for me because it means I can get into them before the list grows. The other songs I don't know are Boy, I Love You, mm, and My Treasure. I am wearing this because I broke my wireless headphones, but if someone asks, I am actually rebelling against modernity. So we're gonna go by order. The first song is Boy. Okay, this is Yeta, I know. That's, that's, that's so cool. It's like one of those climbing walls. Not much of a sports person myself, but I would I would call them climbing walls. <laughs> but it's a tunnel made out of it. I wonder if that's already an existing thing. They made it up for the music video. There's actually a lot of different chords, right? Oh, nice There's something I do with not just idols, like people in general. I sort of have like a, a vibe check. This blonde guy? I don't know how to say this without sounding a bit condescending, but I swear I mean this in the best possible way. He gives off this vibe of like a lizard pretending to be a human. Mm. That's the vibe I got. Okay. You know, I I am a weird person myself, so I'm not judging here. I'm just saying he looks like someone pretending to be a human. <laughs> then there's this, this, yeah, this guy, the one with the big smile. Just the absolute puppy energy radiating from this guy. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. 
they're the same picture. All these spin. It's gonna be a drop, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that's so catchy. I do not... <laughs> How do I say this in a way that doesn't sound... Mm -mm, no, let's just say I'm not particularly fond of guys. But then this guy showed up. Pink hair guy. And he smiled at me like that. And that was kind of disrespectful. Straight up attacking me. I need to see him more because if I like a guy that usually does not speak well for the guy. I <laughs> There's a lot of things that I say that I know sound bad. I have a terrible taste in guys. And he was straight up smiling at me but the vibes I got off was like, you know... He gave me... He gave me complicated vibes. That's all I got for now. From now. I just wanna be your boy. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it here. Okay, I think this is the first time we're seeing him, but he is giving leader vibes. Like everyone was sort of doing their thing, but if he when he came in, he came in. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I demand your attention, peasants. Oh there's Pascal. Oh no, he's here again. Oh yeah. He gives off um <laughs> Not like mental issues vibes, but he does give off maybe like a perfectionist vibe, which makes him suffer. Oh my god, I feel like nothing I'm saying is gonna make sense. Anyways. Oh, and, and like the center stage, it's sort of like a um, stadium, and they're also wearing jerseys. Oh, right then. I like the, the incorporation of the ovals, very stadium like. I'm gonna be your boy. They they were right. They were so sure about that. In grammar, they in grammar they usually tell you that you use will when you don't know if the future is certain or not, and you use going to when this is for sure gonna happen. And they said, "I'm gonna be your boy," and you know what? I think they're right. I'm I'm gonna need a, a lot of time to process that. I'm very much like a person that just sort of experiences and then like probably in a day or two I'll be I'll be having a shower and it's like it was it was about this all along. <laughs> Let's just go now to I love you. Who's this guy? Do we know him? Not a bleeding heart man. Okay, formation. Why are you confused? Okay, I know this is Jungkook because I thought he was fucking adorable in the Daddy remix, so I looked him up. But he gives off the vibe of someone like someone who has a secret. That's the only way I can say it. Who's this guy? Diane looks sassy. <laughs> oh my 
you get it, I guess. <laughs> Bro, I know why G has money. I know this. But every time we build this bed, it's mine. If you're into K pop at all, you know that the guys have the deepest voice. The deepest voices are the cutest. <laughs> <laughs> they seem really cute and really fun guys. I think they're really pushing this. We're just we're just boys. The boys agenda. Like we're just boys having fun, having crushes. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. I wanna talk about Yoshi right here. Which again <laughs> I'm just explaining why I know some of these names. Yoshi had red hair in the jig jigging comeback and red hair it's a very important it's a very important thing it's a very important color it's a very important era for idols for me I, I had to look him up I think he gives off uh he's like more intelligent than what he appears I think he looks like people underestimate his intelligence I don't know this guy's name, but I do remember from the Daddy remix video. He's the one with the the headband. headband? Uh -huh. I think so. He just looks so fun. He looks fun. I'm sorry. I can't concentrate. I'm just thinking about the wet socks oh my god what so many sports do <laughs> I was just talking about oh yeah their concept they're just boys I just did not expect that we are going to pretend we didn't hear that Ooh, you get it, I guess. The choreos go hard. That's another song with a lot of electronic influence. That's interesting. I wouldn't have guessed that was their sound. Okay, now let's go to um. I feel like I still can't can't. I'm sorry, I finished watching Good Almonds just a while ago. I think my accent is going through a transition period. I feel like I still can't I still can't get a grasp on all the members. There's so many of them. Okay, let's go to um okay. we've gone darker. I'm just a little bit scared now. Oh no, he's the first one. <laughs> oh, Is that the guy I said looked like the leader? Because he just said, I'm gonna lead you. But honestly, without the green hair, I do not recognize him at all. I do not know where he is. Choreographing a big group, it's definitely, it's gotta be fun because the amount of combinations you can do is amazing. But also remember, remembering everyone's spots all the time. Bruh. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable with the energy we have created, you guys. Did that sound just came out of his mouth? That was Toyon, right? Hey, hey, hey. No. Does he sound like that? Does he really sound like that? No, 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 no. You guys should keep 
your tongues in your mouth at all times. He has green hair now. Also, I need it. His number, I mean, his name. <laughs> I love his voice. Need a smile. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Okay. That was just a straight up teenager horny <laughs> song. I am an old woman and these kind of things strike me. When they were doing the pa 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 pa, -pa fire, and there was a lot of this movement. I love a uh, literal choreography. Ah uh, yes, fire? You said fire? I know what to do. Yes, fire. Out of these three, I still prefer... Oh my god, this accent is never going away. Out of these three, I still prefer Jig Jin as a title track, which is great because it means they have been only improving. Let's go to My Treasure. It's gonna be him. It's gonna be a ballad. Oh, this is It's alright. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it was a trap. I thought it was just a same. Also, what is going on in the music video? They're trying to go back to better times. That's, I think, what they said. And they're alluding a lot to high school, which, you know, good for you if you had a great experience in high school. Hey. All these sets, oh my god, the budget. Rushing during the chorus. Stop! Stop! Oh no. Not the childhood trauma. It was a trap within a trap. I thought we were having a sad ballad and they were like, nope. It's actually a fan disco song. The lyrics are so depressing. Oh, strings too? The lavender suits though. Oh, dude, he's flirting. Like this. That was amazing. Oh my god, and that was what y'all got before Jig Jin. Without knowing them at all, I thought Jig Jin was a really hardcore concept. But if that's what y'all got before Jig Jin, like, like, some of you must have been shook. Okay, that's also going to the playlist. So it's the nice. Oh my god, I get goosebumps. Oh my god, I'm laughing. <laughs> okay, overall, I think they're pretty cool. I really want to get to know them now. I want to see if my predictions are true. That was all for today. Oh my god, I can't stop blushing. <sighs> Goodbye. Cut the cameras. <laughs>